This is going to be a brief demonstration on how to assemble the carbon aluminum frame. Very easy to do, nothing out of the box. There just are a couple of key things that you want to pay attention to as you put it together in order to ensure that everything's fitting properly and that way you'll have the strongest possible connection. So before we get started, the frame is put together with these M8 stainless bolts, four of them, and all you need for that is a Allen key. A quick tip to prevent corrosion on any of the bolts and to extend the life of the frame is to spray some anti-corrosion on the bolts. Any sort of spray will work. WD-40 is a very popular one. Most people have this in the garage. There's tons of other sprays out there as well, but just a light misting on all the bolts before you assemble the frame will go a long way. Okay, so let's start by inserting our mass into our base plate. So taking a look at the base plate here, you can see we have our carbon sleeve. These are molded directly off of the masts, so they're a really, really tight fit. And it's very important to make sure that your mast is seated all the way down in the slot. We want to make sure it's making good contact with the actual bottom of the slot, and there's not a gap between the bottom of our mast and the slot. So putting our base plate onto the table here, we're just going to carefully insert our mast. And this is where you'll feel really how tight that fit is. And I find that a wiggle back and forth will get it to sit down decently far, but you might not be able to get it to seat all the way down. Okay, so I now have the mast inserted into the base plate and Looking through the holes where the bolts go, I can see there's about a quarter inch gap between the bottom of our mast and our base plate. I wasn't able to get it all the way down just by pressing down on the mast. And this is a very important part is because we wanna make sure that we can get our mast all the way tight to the base plate. And the easiest way to do that is just by using these bolts. All right, so now I have the bolts near flush with the base plate. And remember, we still have a slight gap that we need to close. And so we're going to achieve that by tightening up these bolts. And the best way to do that is to just go switch back and forth from each bolt about a half a turn. And if you really pay attention, you'll be able to see the mast slowly creeping down into that slot a little bit further. And eventually it will be seated all the way flat with the bottom of the slot and you'll know that because you just will not be able to turn these bolts anymore whatsoever. And you also will notice while doing this that if you go with a half turn on this side, when you come over to the other side, it'll be loose and it'll turn very easy. And then again, we'll go back to this side and it'll be loose, it'll turn nice and easy. And so you just kind of repeat this back and forth until eventually they're both tight and both sides are evenly tight. Okay, so now our mast is fully seated against our plate. Both of these screws are nice and tight, so I know that we're seated properly. And it's important to make sure, especially with this joint right here with the base plate, uh, occasionally, every now and then, take it off the board and just make sure that these are still tight. We don't want them loosening up over time. And keep in mind that it's a combination of the tightness of these bolts clamping our mast against our plate and that carbon slot that gives this joint its strength. That's why we want to make sure that it's fully seated up against the base plate and that these bolts remain tight. So moving on to our fuselage, same process. We'll insert the mast, try to get it as straight up and down as possible, and we'll slowly rock it. back and forth until we can't do it by hand anymore. And now we're going to follow that same process with the bolts, half turn on each side, switching back and forth until our fuselage is fully inserted against the mast. All right, so just as before, we will know that we're fully seated when these are no longer turning. And again, we wanna make sure that these are really nice and tight and that it's clamping our mast really tight up against the fuselage, and we wanna check on these from time to time and make sure they don't loosen up. 